Okay, uh, as I was saying, how to apply this Shana Susan eyeliner. When I first bought it, I didn't know how to apply it, so I just used it uh, this way to uh, line my waterline and below my eyelash and on top. And then one day I learned that because it comes with a pointed tip, just like a crayon, so you're supposed to wear it this way, where you horizontally you gotta close your eyes and not not so much just to let it touch the bottom of your waterline and the upper upper line and you gotta just drag it across so that it lines the waterline and the upper part so that is what this that's how you're supposed to use it otherwise it's gonna be like what I have here that's not the way it's supposed to be it's supposed to be it's supposed to be long lasting and it's I mean it's supposed to be like a pointed tip so after several use, it's supposed to be the same way, not like what I have here. So the next time I get one, I'll make sure I'll do it this way instead of that way. Instead of this way. Uh, even though I need some practice. Now, I also would like to try the um, Himalaya Kajal. Because it has also has Ayurvedic properties, but I've not tried that. But it also comes like in a crayon shape with the pointed tip uh, how do I prevent my kajal from going downwards is after I've applied it on my waterline I would use this um, water-based liquid flat liner what I've got here is the Maybelline one and because it's water-based it would dry after I draw uh, draw my water uh, draw my do my eyeliner so it prevents the uh, kajal from smudging. So this is what uh, I would use to prevent my kajal from smudging instead of the dark eyeshadow because I find that when I have uh, the dark eyeshadow, it kind of gives me the smoky eye and makes it even more uh, panda shaped eye than what I would like. Now, um, of all the eyeliners, there's this kajal, there's the oil base, and there's this water base eyeliner. For water base eyeliner, I heard you're not supposed to uh, wear water base eyeliner um, for too long below because the skin below your eye is too soft. So once it's water base, it would dry up and it will give you wrinkles under your eye. So I would recommend that if you're not wearing kajal, you could. Um, use this just to line your upper lid and to get that wing effect for this this Maybelline's uh, flat liner it's very good for giving that um, wing effect it's like a marker it it looks like a marker and it's it's moist so for me is if I'm going to do it below my waterline I find it a bit ticklish but only on the days that I'm wearing my kajal, then I would apply this. So that is for the water-based one. I like the water-based one the most because on the days when I'm lazy. And I don't like removing uh, my kajal with my oil eye makeup remover. Then I would use the water-based one and just draw out my eyes. Because it comes out very easily with the water-based, liquid-based eyeliner. And the other one that I've got is the LA Girl Semi-Permanent auto eyeliner this is the more of the oil based one and m most of you would have this type you twist it this is more oil based but this is not the type that you can wear on your waterline but it has also got a dark pigmentation and it you can't really use this to draw the wing for me I, I can't use this to draw the wing so I would just use it and I wouldn't wink it, I'll just stop it up to here. But uh, if I want to get the wing effect, I would use the uh, flat liner because that gives a better, it has a finer tip, so it would wink it a bit. So that's what I want to talk about kajal eyeliners. And my favorite being the kajal because that's the only one that I can apply on my waterline. Uh, I wish there's a way that I can prevent it from smudging. So other than that 
I would still prefer the liquid base eyeliner because it's so much more easier to remove. But as for the rest of the eyeliner, I still got to use my eye makeup remover to remove it. But with this liquid base one, it's so easy to come off. So that's all I've got for eyeliners. Please share if you have any ideas on how to prevent smudging. Thank you.